Now it came to pass, about eight days after these sayings, that he took Peter, John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. As he prayed, the appearance of his face was altered and his robe became white and glistening. And behold, two men talked with him, who were Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his decease, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and those with him were heavy with sleep, and when they were fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Then it happened, as they were parting from him, that Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he had said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were fearful as they entered the cloud. And a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. When the voice had ceased, Jesus was found alone. But they kept quiet and told no one in those days any of these things they had seen. You were transfigured on the mount, O Christ God, revealing your glory to your disciples as far as they could bear it. Let your everlasting light shine on us sinners through the prayers of the Theotokos, giver of light, glory to you. Metamorphosis and ori Christe. Δείξας της μαθητές σου, την δόξαν σου καθώς η δυνάντο, λάμψον και ημίν της αμαρτώλης, το φως σου το ιδίον, πρεσβείες της Θεοτόκου, Φωτό δω τα δόξα σύ. Now after six days, Jesus took Peter, James and John and led them up on a high mountain apart by themselves and he was transfigured before them. His clothes became shining exceedingly white like snow, such as no laundry on earth can whiten them. And Elijah appeared to them with Moses and they were talking with Jesus. The Peter answered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, because he did not know what to say, for they were greatly afraid. And a cloud came and overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. Suddenly, when they had looked around, they saw no one any more, but only Jesus with themselves. Now as they came down from the mountain, he commanded them that they should tell no one the things that they had seen till the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept this word to themselves, questioning what the rising from the dead meant. And they asked him, saying, Why did the scribes say Elijah must come first? Then he answered and told them, Indeed, Elijah is coming first and restores all things. And how is it written concerning the Son of Man, that he must suffer many things and be treated with contempt? But I say to you that Elijah has also come, and they did to him whatever they wished, as it is written of him.